Hey, beautiful collective. Welcome back, guys. We're talking about the soulmates and separation. And we obviously know that a lot of these people have been influenced by other people. So I want to find out any additional information. Hmm. Pleasure with a friend at work. Here you are, very successful, having great happiness. Woo, hang on, guys. Let me get this card here, if at all possible. Something to do with the past March. Okay. They may have started a romance, gone to a celebration or a party. But they were disappointed. So they never reached a goal or something like that. They could have gone on a vacation, stepped into a new experience. But something was a disappointment. They could have started a romance or they were in a romance. <sighs> Something was a disappointment. Hmm. What happened here, Spirit, with this vacation? Oh. I saw the love triangle card, but it was a feminine with two masculines. Somebody had a controlling, obsessive lover. Hmm. Could have gotten into a fight with someone. They were competing with you. They were talking shit about you. Same shit, different day. They could have had a fight about you. That's when they could have blocked you off of Facebook. Because they didn't want <laughs> you to see that they were having problems. Family issues. They could have caught this person looking you up. They could have caught this person. They could have gone into their cell phone looking you up to see if this person was still talking to you or something. It's They could have caught them looking at your pictures. Something like that. And they blocked you. Oh, they got into this first person's phone and they blocked you. <laughs> they were digging up dirt on you. They were calling you like they were hating your spirituality. They might have found out, looked you up on social media, looked at your... Um, Facebook account you may have written on your Facebook account somehow that you were of spiritual uh, religion or something heard from somebody that you were spiritual they were pretending to be you oh my Jesus this karmic is sick in the head oh. <coughs> Excuse me. This karmic was digging up dirt on you. They were impersonating you. They were pretending to be you. So if all of a sudden 
this person was blocked from your phone or blocked you off of social media or something like that. They were pretending to be you. They were saying bad things about you. They found out somehow that you were spiritual. They could have been getting a lot of tarot card readings on you to find out information about you, but it's almost like they twisted the tables. They could have said that you were bullying them. You were saying mean things about them on Facebook when it was them themselves doing it. What happened here on this vacation and what is this fight all about? What happened in this March? They were on vacation. There was some kind of gossip or rumors about a friend or on Facebook. They were could have been having pleasure with a close friend. They were juggling you. King and Queen of Wands. They were fighting about you. They had an argument about you. What was the argument about? They were arguing about you they could have been put in a competition they were hiding something about this communication this karmic could have started crying, saying that you were bullying them on social media. But they created a fake account somehow, or they got into some kind of argument about you. The karmic started crying, saying that you were bullying them or something like that. person wanted to keep something they were like dealing with some kind of family issues some kind of child protection or something they blocked you they didn't want you to see Something is going on. This karmic and their family may have 
have been conspiring to trap this person with a child for money. It is. They were cutting you down. They were manipulating this person. They were spreading rumors and gossip. I really hurt this person. They did something risky and then somebody was spying on social media or something like that. They were looking you up. They could have been looking you up. They could have been caught looking you up. They could have been trying to like look at your photographs or your pictures or something like that. They could have been looking at you or love messages. They could have been looking at your photographs. You're sitting here moving in silence. You were being silent. You weren't bullying anybody. You weren't doing anything to anybody. They were talking about your spirituality. They got in a big fight in an argument. Hmm. They were paying for tarot card readings. Yes, they were. It was this person who was paying for tarot card readings to find out some information. Ah, uh, well. Someone is actually angry that they ended things with you or somebody wanted revenge on you. It's like retaliation or revenge. Somebody wanting revenge because of an ending or somebody a trap told them that they were pregnant and it was a lie just to cause a tower for this person to push you away holy crap this they're thinking about timing they're thinking about And something doesn't make sense here. At a distance. Somebody was having sex. emperor was in their ego so this other lover told them that they were pregnant but they were lying oh my god this karmic energy was dealing with another masculine They were on vacation together. This karmic is pregnant. But they lied about the dates or they lied about the timing. This person is thinking, well, this isn't adding up.
That's why they blocked you. They blocked you. They blocked you because they knew you were spiritual. They knew you'd figure it out. They knew you would talk to this person. They knew you would tell this person. It doesn't add up. That should mean they're only seven months pregnant or seven weeks pregnant or something like that. The timing is off. They had a big fight in an argument. They were fighting and arguing about you and their family got involved. This person could have been looking you up. Maybe they were looking at your pictures or your social media. This karmic could have grabbed their phone, blocked you off Facebook, blocked you, period, blocked you. Oh, they're spiritual. They're this, they're that. They're kooks. They're devils. They're this, they're that. Blah, blah, blah. There's so... They were traveling. They were stressed out. They were worrying. They could have been sick. You know what I mean? They were going to abandon this person. They were. This karmic energy is lying, just getting their way by lying. They were somehow impersonating you. Look, look, look. I'll show you on my phone. The collective energy here is stalking me. They're harassing me. It was them themselves pretending to be you. They started fighting and arguing. Your person can't be that, that, that stupid, can they be? Is anyone that stupid? They were on a vacation. They were having family issues. The karmic starts talking about you, starts saying things about you. Somebody was paying for tarot card readings to find out information. They were looking things up. They set up some kind of fake account to pretend that they, you were bullying them somehow on social media. Just block them. Block them. It was all a lie. Everything this karmic was doing was a lie. This karmic energy <clears throat> was dealing with another masculine at the same time that they were dealing with your person. Of course, this is can be roles reversed. Just take it as it resonates. But for many of you, 
They were on a vacation in March. They were having a romantic situation, but there was a disappointment in it because they didn't reach their goal, what they wanted to achieve. They started fighting and are. Maybe this person was saying they were successful with you, happy with you, that you were a good friend or something like that. This karmic lied about a pregnancy they did. It didn't add up said like said that they were like seven weeks pregnant or something when they were only five weeks pregnant that's because they were dealing with another masculine and you know what's really really weird when this person had the big argument and fight with that person on a vacation about you they went to another feminine it wasn't you. They went to another feminine energy. Other than this karmic. Weird. I gotta ask the tarot. <laughs> they went to another feminine energy. They had a big fight and argument about you, blocked you off Facebook, this karmic, and was got all their family involved with it and everything. They had a big argument. This masculine knew that this feminine was dealing with another masculine. They had a big fight and argument about you <clears throat> in front of their whole family. Maybe it was a family vacation or something. And then this person turned around and left that vacation and went to another feminine energy. So why didn't they trust their intuition? Their intuition told them that there was something up here. What were they fighting and arguing about? What was this fight and argument about? Well, they were looking you up. And they got angry because this person was looking you up. They were looking you up. The Empress, the Earth Angel. Why were they looking up my collective? Why was this person looking up my collective? They blocked you. The karmic blocked you so that this person could not look you up, could not get your phone number. They were calling you about something. They were going to call you. And this karmic may have blocked your phone number from their phone because this person was going to walk away from them because they found out about a lie. They were lying about a pregnancy. This person may have told the karmic that they weren't want to work on their relationship with you.
and then the karmic gets all their family involved in the situation. You had sex with me. You got to commit to me. They started a big argument about you. This person was heavily troubled, heavily burdened, and I think that they were looking you up to call you or to get some advice from you. From their soulmate. And there's some kind of manipulation here. It was some kind of scheme or something like that. And this person... was scared of something hidden communications or something hidden messages this person was maybe going to talk to you to apologize to you or say that they were sorry to you I told you there are two different energies here. See? They were trapped. But this karmic had other options of people who were the potential father, but your person did not know that. And they were going to call you. They were looking you up. They were going to talk to you and get some advice from you. And... The karmic went off half cocked here and they started a fight and an argument about you because they caught this person looking you up or something. The karmic blocked your messages or blocked you somehow. And so, yeah, they were going to apologize. Then the karmic comes off going, oh, I'm pregnant. They were playing around, but there is some kind of, no, there are way too many masculines here. There's a king of wands, a king of pentacles, a king of cups. There are way too many masculines, like, and they found this out. And they were going to look you up. They were going to call you for some advice. They found out that something, and they were fighting and arguing about it. And they're saying, no, oh, that's just, that's the Empress trying to start trouble. That's the Empress trying to start trouble. Well, this person knew, like, this is somebody who created a fake account. But it wasn't. It wasn't you. This person may have been thinking, you know, it's about timing. Something isn't adding up here. I think that the weeks are off, uh, the months are off. How could that be? I wasn't even with you during this period of time. They were going to call you for some advice. 
this karmic may have grabbed their phone, deleted you, blocked you so that this person couldn't talk to you. The karmic gets their family all involved in it. They were going to talk to you as a friend. They were going to call you long distance. They were going to travel to come and see you. Because they thought there was something hidden here. They were going to pay to come and see you or pay you to come and see them. They wanted to come home. And they were looking you up. Looking you up. Earth Angel. This person... is being betrayed about a child. Someone else is the father of this child. That's why they needed advice. That's why they tried to look you up. And I think they went to another feminine energy for advice. Like, holy shit, what do I do here? What do I do here? Well, they went and got shitty advice. That's what they did do. Yeah, they went to another feminine energy to get some kind of information or advice. That's why they wanted to talk to you, but the karmic blocked you. So they went seeking advice from another feminine about this lover. They were concerned. They were halting things down with this lover. Something wasn't adding up. Okay? The other lover was juggling them. And they didn't want to hurt because the karmic got their family all involved. They didn't want to like hurt the karmic's feelings, but they wanted to break up with it, the karmic. They wanted to break up with this karmic energy, but they talked to another feminine energy somewhere else. They got on a plane or a bus or in their car and they traveled and they went and to another feminine energy to talk to about this whole situation. They would have talked to you, but whoever they talked to, give them some shitty advice, man. Said, oh, you can't separate with them, they're pregnant. Oh, you can't abandon them, they're pregnant. It's not even their freaking child. So this person <laughs> went back to the karmic, see? And gave the karmic this offer. Oh, because of the children. Oh. <sighs> they didn't want to leave the children alone or abandon the karmic in their time of need. But so that's why they ghosted you. 
they felt stuck. Yet at the same time, they were resenting being controlled. They should have stood up and fight. They should have, like, pissed off all these people. That's what they should have done. They were fighting and arguing about you. Somebody got into it while they were on vacation, had a big blowout about you. The karmic runs to their family, starts crying to their family, laying all the guilt trips on this person. Yet the karmic was dealing with all these other masculines. That part they didn't mention. They were going to call you up. Something didn't add up. They're thinking, that doesn't sound like the collective. The collective is not going to do cyberbullying. The collective is not going to do this. They were looking you up. And they were thinking, the collective wouldn't do that. Something didn't add up. So they were going to call you to find out if you did do something or say something oh this karmic is one grease bag so they went to another feminine energy someone who they thought that they could trust or had good advice they would have went to you but they went to this other energy and this other energy goes oh you better do the right thing i mean you don't want to um upset someone who's pregnant and all this stupid shit advice they may have worked with this person you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like they traveled to go see this person. So I think that their vacation didn't go the way it was supposed to go because this person went to another feminine energy for advice. I don't think they were screwing around with this friend, but they really needed some advice. But they were given shit advice. They should have talked to you. They should have come and seen you. You would have at least been honest with them. Instead, they got confused. You had the knowledge and you had the wisdom. High Priestess, you would have told this Emperor the truth. You would have spoken clearly. I knew this person was a player. But let me tell you, they were going to ask you for apologize to you they were going to try and make something fair for you you were a good friend and a good mentor to this person and you definitely would have given them some wise counsel you would have probably said how do you know you're the father
they wanted to come home. Empress. Snakes in the grass. Yeah, until family got involved. See? A family betrayal. <laughs> this family of the karmics was making threats. Was like saying, hmm. It's just lies and deception. The King of Wands was looking you up. Thinking, did you really say all that? Did you really say that? No. Let's this damn Queen of Swords started crying. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So they found out the truth about something and they still, they didn't want to abandon the karmic. Oh. In their time of need, They've been disappointed, okay, with this vacation and with this karmic. Something went down, man, big time. I don't even think this person, by the time they got out of that vacation, I don't even think they could have paid attention to their work. They were that shooken. If they could have come to you, they would have come to you. I don't know whatever news that they found out. I mean, they were shook. It's a, the karmic and the karmic's family. It was all a setup. They saw this person as money and they did not care how dirty that they got. They were in it to win it at all costs. Didn't matter. Who got hurt here? They didn't care what lie they had to tell. They did not. The family was all backing the karmic and making this person look like the worst person on the planet Earth, guilting them into not abandoning this karmic. They lied about some dates. They did. Something didn't add up. And then the karmic turns on the waterworks. Why didn't this person listen to their intuition? <laughs> I guess spirit's the only one that knows. Take care, guys.